Okay, this is part five of my Max Dragon Run review of the Darkest Trap, Dark Hound. As you can see, he is a hexagon, a kind of lengthened hexagon, but still he's hexagon. His front leg springs are really strong, so in it, so he's supposed to open up like that. Then his legs are these popping backwards like that. Anyways, he's the, the hounds have the most manual parts out of all the pieces, so that's the downside. First off, you gotta lock his body in place like that, and then his hind legs flip out in two stages. First like that, then like that, then his tail flips out, and finally the head. His head looks kind of weird. But you still gotta flip out these black parts even more to make little ears. It's kind of nice how he has black on him, because he's since he's darkest. Yeah, he's got blue eyes instead of green, like the other pieces. The hounds weren't were originally my favorite pieces whenever I first saw Max Dragonoid, but. I don't really like him much as much. He would be my third favorite piece. Actually, no, I would have to say my fourth favorite. Spider Arm is pretty cool. Anyways, see, so yeah, is my favorite, then Graphius is my second favorite. Third favorite is Spider Arm, then Dark Hound, Gracchus Hound, Dragonoid, and Spider Fencer is my least favorite. He becomes Leg and the hound transform the most whenever transforming. Probably transform the most. Let's see, first off, his head puts out and his back opens up, big foot. Then the entire rear section folds back in, and then little peg flips out. Let's well, see, you can hardly tell that was dark hound, except for his little head right there and this foot. Anyways, I'll go ahead and re reverse that. He's back into Dark Hound instead of a Max's Dragonoid leg. Not much else to say about Dark Hound. He's red and silver instead of black and purple like most Darkest Vakakon, but. Yeah. Oh, he changes to Chaos, as you can see in there. I have to lift up the foot like that. See that? Yeah, there's Dark Hound. 